Hola foodies, it's your girl Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And guess what? We've got a fabulous menu ready and prepped and about to get started on, right? So stick around and uh, check it out. Hey guys, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And today we're getting ready to make my famous pasta salad. And of course, every time I make it, I tweak it and I add a few different things and a little bit of different ingredients into it. So today, before we get started on all the ingredients and the veggies that are going to go into that pasta salad, let's first start by making my dressing. Now, just to tell you, right over here in this pot, I've already got some water heating up and I'll be using Barilla today, which is one box that's round about, you know, just shy of a uh, pound. So it's 12 ounces of rollatini. And let's go over what's next. What will we be, what will we be using? So let's see, I've got two limes over here, which I'm going to zest as well as use the juices for. Over here, I've got a couple sprigs of fresh oregano there you can see one fresh sprig of rosemary i'll be using a tablespoon of gray poupon mustard and over here i already have a half a cup of white vinegar so into this half a cup let's first start by adding we're going to start adding our mustard so let's just get this added away There we go. There we go. So we've got our mustard in. Over here I have one teaspoon of dried marjoram. So what I like to do with my dried herbs, I put it in my hand like so. Warm it up a little bit, just like this. And then let it go right in. So we've got that nice and powdered in there. Next, I'll be using some thyme, dried thyme. I'll be using a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. Put that right into that, just like so. I'll be adding in here one tablespoon of dried chives. And of course, no need to crush, it goes right in. I have also some dried parsley. So one tablespoon. This, of course, I'm going to warm up into my hands, just like so, and get them all in, just like that. Get that little bit in. Next will be basil. Don't be shy on it. Basil's already crushed, so popping that right in. Going to add some oregano that's next, and of course, I'm using a tablespoon oregano. Now, we're going to get some garlic powder. I'll be using one teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon onion powder, and we're going to mix these babies up here just like this. Just get that going. Get all those juices all together. Now, of course, for salt, I'll be using a combination of kosher salt and a celery seed salt. So what I like to do is get some kosher salt out, just like this. Put that in there. Oh, gotta give it a little bang getting a little tough there for me. Okay, so we've loosened that up a little. So we've got our kosher salt out. And next we'll be having, I'll be adding and topping off here with our celery seed salt right up on top. So we've got a combo of these two salts to add some flavor in here. 
We're just going to let this sit and let the flavors get all happy for a little while. And I'm going to get to zesting these limes and chopping up these beautiful herbs over here. And then we'll be adding some olive oil in just a bit. Alrighty, so our pasta water is ready. I'm just going to dump in our pasta. Give it a little stir. Here we go. Lovely. Get that nicely incorporated. Crank up the heat a little bit so we can get that into a nice rolling boil. And I'm going to season up our pasta here with some salt. And I use a combination of sea salts, my famous pink salts, of course, that I use. And in this is a combination, a beautiful combination of pink Himalayan sea salt. We've got pink Mediterranean sea salt in here as well. And a lovely, oh, look at that pasta. Oh, and of course, pink Hawaiian sea salt. So we've got pink Hawaiian sea salt, Mediterranean sea salt, and Himalayan sea salt. Look at her beautiful pasta. How gorgeous does this look? Beautiful, I can't wait for that to be done. Alrighty, so back to our salad dressing. I've already gone ahead and I have chopped up our beautiful rosemary. We're just gonna dump that in just like so. We've also chopped up here our fresh oregano. You've also dumped that right in. Now we're gonna slide that here for, your, for you guys to see. Now what I'm gonna do, as you can see, it's nice and thick with all those ingredients and herbs I've already added into this. So we're missing right now our citric, which we will get from the limes. And of course, I'll be adding some olive oil now. So I'm choosing to use a basil infused olive oil. I'll be adding up around about a quarter cup or so. Let's see, we already have about a half a cup in there. Add that in there, that looks about right. Get this nicely mixed up like this. Oh, this is already smelling beautiful. Get you guys a nice little look in there. See what we, what I see. How gorgeous is this look, right? Beauteous, beauteous. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get these limes all zested up. So start like this. Now, of course, you need to be so careful when you're zesting limes because you do not want to zest your knuckles, right? So that's not exactly what you want to do. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this all zested up in here. And then we're going to get ready to add our lime juice. So let me go ahead and finish these all up. Okay, so we've already zested both of the limes. As you can see, how beautiful does this look, all right? So we're just gonna give this a little mix here in this here beautiful cup. Now, as you can see, I got most of the greens off, right? So we're gonna give our limes a little roll, just like this to soften and release the juices, just like that. I'm going to cut them now in half and we're going to get ready to juice these bad boys there we go pull that a little closer there we go got my little juicer right here pop one half in there we go beautiful lime juice get that out get the next one in more beautiful lime juice. It smells amazing, guys, in this kitchen. This lime juice smells so fresh. And by the way, if I haven't mentioned already, let me tell you, this particular dressing is not just good only for a pasta salad. I use this on my regular salads as well. 
This is my secret dressing. There we go. We've got all the Citrix in there now. How beautiful is this look, right? Mm, mm, mm. Looking beautiful. This looks absolutely stunning right here. Take a look. Beautiful. Alrighty, our pasta is done. So what I'm going to do is simply just pop it right out here, just like this, and pop it right into our bowl, just like so. Got a nice little shake, get all that nice pasta water off. Right, just like that. Here we go. Let's just get this all out of in the bowl. And then we're going to add our beautiful dressing to this. While the pasta is nice and hot, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of that basil olive oil right up on top. And just let that mix in just like so. Give it a quick little mix. There we go. Yep, so nothing sticks. And let's get ready to add. Next would be that beautiful dressing while this pasta is hot. Alrighty, so now it's time to add our beautiful dressing, which I have right here, right here, onto our hot pasta. Let's drizzle that on. How gorgeous is that look? I'm just gonna use about half of it for now. Reserve the other half in case I need it, or I'll use it maybe on a salad for me during the week. So let's just get this nicely incorporated while the pasta is nice and hot. So it absorbs all of those beautiful flavors. It smells amazing, guys. It really, really, really does. My goodness, look at that. Look at that beautiful color, huh? Check out those herbs. Gorgeous, right? Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So now we're going to pause in this recipe. We're going to give this pasta salad about 10 minutes or so just to absorb and cool. And while it's cooling off, it's going to absorb all these beautiful flavors we just added to it. So there we go. Give you guys a nice look. How gorgeous is that, right? Beautiful. Alrighty, so it's time to assemble our beautiful pasta salad. Now I've gone ahead in here and I've blanched two heads of fresh broccoli and I've added that to our pasta. Now let's go ahead and see what else we're going to add into this beautiful bowl. Now take a look at this little lineup we've got right here. Let's see. We've got a half of a sliced red onion, and this is a rather large red onion. We've got a half of a yellow bell pepper, julienne, just like this. Half of a red bell pepper, half of an orange bell pepper. We've got one cup, or around about, yeah, pretty much it's one cup of julienne carrots. These are not blanched, they're raw. Over here, I have around about 15 ounces that I've already drained and sliced of roasted red peppers over here. We have over here 11 ounces of sweet corn niblets. So there, I've got that draining. Of course, next I've got over here 10 ounces of cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna keep those whole. I'm going to add into this next two and a half ounces of some capers. We're going to add uh, 12 ounces of marinated artichoke hearts, 12 ounces of marinated mushrooms, 12 ounces of Kalamata olives, and of course these are pitted so there are no seeds. And we're going to add a couple of these bad boys in here, pepperoncini, beautiful. So probably around about a cup, so probably about maybe seven, eight, however, how much ever fits into our cup. 
And now let's get ahead and start arranging this a salad. So let's start with some of these fresh veggies here first. So let's start with the onions. Let's get these onions in. Give them a little scrunch as they're going right in, just like so. Let's just move that over a little bit so you guys can see. There we go. Scrunch it up just a little. Get all of that goodness in. Let's get the peppers in. There we go. All nice and beautiful. Let's get the carrots in next. And there we go. Next, we're going to move our bowl over here where we've got a little bit more room to work with. Alrighty, so we've got our bowl over here. Let's get this all mixed up over here. That looks yummy already. And next, we're going to add the next of our veggies. So let's get to that. Let's just Keep mixing just a little bit more. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This looks so colorful. And of course, colorful, we eat with our eyes first, obviously. And this is super healthy, yummy, and very tasty as well. So now we're going to go in with our roasted peppers, like we talked about before, in we go. We're gonna toss in our corn into this. Make sure we get all that goodness out. Give this a nice little toss as well, because it's important to mix and incorporate as we go so we can get all these beautiful flavors to marry and mix really well together. Look how gorgeous that is. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, I'm not gonna make this just for myself. Well, guess what? I'm making this for a party. So it's gonna be pretty much a party size tray. So it works out beautifully. Next, we're gonna add four olives. Kalamata olives, there we go. In goes our olives. In goes our beautiful mushrooms. There we go. And we're going to add our capers. There we go. All of those capers in. Yep, got all the capers in. Way. And we've got four artichoke hearts. And there we go. So let's give this a nice little stir. Ooh, yummy. How colorful. Gorgeous. This is absolutely amazing. Now I have a secret finish that I'm going to do, which I didn't mention before. Of course, you know, everything is better with cheese. So I'm going to add round about, this is a shade over a half a pound of feta cheese. So I'm gonna add our feta cheese right in. There we go. So it's actually 0.59 ounces to be exact. But who's counting? At this point, you know what, when you're making a recipe like this, it's totally okay to average a bit. There we go. Gorgeous. So I'm going to get this all nicely incorporated here. There we go. And she is looking gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Mmm. I already want to eat this. And let me tell you, in a party, this is really a star of the show. Let me tell you, I've gotten so many requests to make my pasta salad. So it is a summertime favorite and I truly enjoy making it. Let's not forget or tomatoes. In we go. And we just stir them in just like that. 
Now it's time to get ready to plate up for you guys. And how gorgeous is that, guys, huh? Look at that. How beautiful. Lift that bowl up. Oh, that's heavy. Take a look. Gorgeous. Get you guys in for a nice, beautiful, tight shot. How gorgeous. How absolutely gorgeous is that? Mm, mm, mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. And that's pasta salad a la mama style. Now, time to plate up and make look pretty. Almost forgot, we gotta put a couple of these pepperoncinis, a couple of these bad boys in here. So they're a little tart and a little spicy, but guess what? They are so good. So we've got four, got five, make that six, seven, and we've got here eight. So now we've got a party going on in here. I'm gonna move this off here to the side. Move our salad over. Now remember we had some leftover dressing. Well, let's see if it fits into my little bottle over here. We'll put this right in here. Please, 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 please. What does not fit, we are going to put right into or salad. So we're just gonna pour the rest of that right in there so nothing gets wasted. There we go. Now this here I'm gonna carry with me to the party, block party actually. And if anyone wants, we can always drop a little bit on this on regular salads or whatever they like it on. There we go. Here's our beautiful salad again. And let's get ready to plate this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful Italian style pasta salad, of course, a la mala style. All right, foodies, so we all nicely plated up. Over here, we've got our pepperoncinis here, which I've nicely placed up on top. We've got our nice pretty bowl by Wilton Armitage. In the middle here, I have a cherry pepper that's stuffed with prosciutto and a provolone. So that, we've garnished that there in the middle. And take a beautiful look at this baby. Huh? How gorgeous do we look? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We are the belle of the ball. How gorgeous do we look, right? We look stunning. There we go. Yep, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Now let's take a nice little tight shot and get you guys in there. Yep, there you go. Check that out. She is gorgeous. Oh yes. See all of that? All of that goodness in there. Take a look. Right in there. There we go. Pull that bowl down so you can see that beautiful cherry pepper stuffed with prosciutto and some provolone cheese, baby cheese. So take a look at our baby. Once again, how gorgeous, and we are absolutely happy. And there we have it, our gorgeous pasta salad, Italian style, a la mala style, of course, made with our beautiful homemade dressing. Gorgeous. Oh, what a beautiful thing of beauty we've got here. Check out that gorgeous salad. How colorful. Guys, 
I don't know about you guys, but I eat with my eyes first. And when I see something that looks as beautiful as that, guess what? I'm eating it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And by the way, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And don't forget, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and check out our new foodie group, okay? You'll find the links inside of our video. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Stay safe, guys.